Praise Jesus, guys. Today, I went up the mountain. We live close to Shut Eye Ridge in California. And we came up here and we hiked up the mountain. And Jesus keeps on reminding me how his, how his coming is near. And there's no escaping his coming no matter where you go. I come up here and this area used to be beautiful and it still is beautiful, the rocks and the trees, but here in the Sierra Nevada, in some places, up to 50, 60% maybe of the trees have all died, maybe more. Most of the conifer trees all dead. And I just want to show you what this looks like because I think people, a lot of people just, they have their heads stuck in the sand or they're not paying attention. They think things are going to ju just get... <coughs> They think things are just going to get better, but if you look around, look at the ground here. These are all dead trees, and I want you to take a look at the tops of these trees. These trees are all dead. The tops are falling off because they have all died and are dying. This used to be a beautiful campground, and now if you put your tent here and sleep the night, you, you put your life at risk because... The trees may fall down and land on the top of your tent and they actually closed a lot of campgrounds because it was just so dangerous of trees falling on people's tents and, and killing people. But look around. This forest used to be beautiful, just green trees and someone was mentioning today, they were saying, is this an old forest or why is there so much, why is there so many um, things growing on the tree? You know, they were noticing that these things right here. I don't know if you can see that. But see these on the tree? When the trees are dying, they just start to have those growths on them. And more and more moss, you can just tell that they're not in good condition. But if you were to tell me maybe 10 years ago that all these trees would be dead, I probably wouldn't believe you. I would just think that you were over-exaggerating. But the forest today, it looks like gloom and doom, man. I mean, Jesus told me that the trees represent people. And this isn't just my revelation. Jesus said that the axe is at the, the base of every tree that does not bear good fruit. And we're no, we know that he's not talking about physical trees, but he's talking about people. When people are not bearing fruit, when they reject God, when they're living in sin, then they spiritually die. You know, that sin starts growing on them, like that fungus is growing on the tree. And then, and then they die. The next thing that happens is they're thrown into hell by God. And around here, the first thing that came is the drought around 2008 in California or 2009. And then the bark beetles. And then the fires. And spiritually, the trees are representing what is going to happen and what is happening to people. People start to spiritually die. The plagues start growing on them. Sin, bondage. Then they start to fall apart. And then after they physically die... The fire comes. God is the one who, after we die, throws our soul into hell. Look around, guys. This forest isn't going to be healed anytime soon. These things are happening. And if we don't see the signs of the time, we're not looking up. We're not paying attention. This is the whole forest. The whole forest is dead or dying. Only 10 years ago, this forest was all beautiful, gorgeous, and green. It's now dead. These trees represent people. And if you're not going to repent and seek Jesus, you're also physically going to die and he's going to throw you into hell. Strengthen what remains. If you're hearing this message... Maybe you think I'm crazy, I don't know, but Jesus is coming. And if you're not prepared, 
if you're not prepared, there's going to be no hope for you because after Jesus comes, there's no more second chances. So repent today. Do you hear Jesus? Do you hear his voice? Are you one of his sheep? Or are you like the many lost sheep, lost people who think that things are just going to get better? That just think that the earth is just going to heal itself. We're all just going to go back to normal. Look around. Look around, man. Ten years ago, you would have never told me this forest would be death. You know, the trees with all the tops knocked off. Look around. It's not just here. Jesus is coming, and if you're not ready, then the only thing that's going to remain for you is the lake that burns with fire and brimstone. Jesus bless you guys.